It is the deadliest of all cancers, but there is new hope tonight in the battle against pancreatic cancer. Researchers in Worcester believe that they are on the verge of something big, and now family members of those lost to the disease are asking for your help. Here's New Center 5's Rhonda Mann. Karen was always healthy. She was a big, strong, outgoing kid. Just all of a sudden, uh, bang, one day you come up and, uh, and you have the bad news. The bad news, pancreatic cancer. When doctors diagnosed Karen, she was three months pregnant. Miraculously, surgeons carefully removed the tumor without disturbing the baby in the womb. The baby was fine, everything was fine, and uh, the outlook was great. Months later, Adam was born healthy, but just afterwards, the disease returned. Karen died just after Adam's first birthday. The saddest part of all was that after she died, he runs up the stairs and pushes the door in and hollers, Mama, and Mama isn't there. Researchers have had few clues to this evasive cancer. It spreads quickly, producing almost no symptoms. Within six months, half the people who are diagnosed will die, and within five years, 98% uh, succumbs to this disease. But Dr. Saluja has found an important key, heat shock proteins. In times of stress, they're released into the body to protect cells, but they're overly abundant in pancreatic cancer cases, protecting tumor cells from destruction. Our initial studies indicate that, that by inhibiting heat shock protein levels, HSP-70 levels, uh, we can uh, we can kill these cells, kill the tumor cells. The research is in its very earliest stages, but for a disease that's so deadly, it is providing some hope for the future. And those like the Sweeney's are now asking for donations for the research to continue. While pancreatic cancer is more deadly, it receives one-twelfth the funding of breast cancer. What can we do to make her life positive? If we can fix it so that someone else's child can live, that's what we'll do. On the Health Beat, Rhonda Mann, New Center 5. The researchers will be...